Speaker, I'm pleased to speak to the first reading of this bill, which is to amend the Misuse of Drugs Act 1975 to reclassify ephedrine and pseudoephedrine as Class B2 control drugs and remove thalidomide as a Class A control drug, allow hazardous substances to be scheduled also as restricted substances, extend the definition of fairphetamine analogues and extend the controls over drug paraphernalia. Mr Speaker, ephedrine and pseudoephedrine are precursors of P. In the first seven months of this year, 23 kilograms of methamphetamine were seized. That is four times the amount that was seized in the same period last year. Make no mistake, Mr Speaker, this is a huge business in New Zealand and it's worth hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. There are close association with gangs and their clandestine operations in suburban homes and let's not forget they have associated with weapons which they use to protect their operations. Mr Speaker, tackling law P and, and the drugs trade is a huge priority for the law and order team. And I would like to acknowledge the work done by the Minister of Justice and the Minister of Police. There are a dedicated anti-drug customs task force. We've made it easier for police to go after gangs and also go after the proceeds of crime. And that is, we are, that is why we are restricting the access to the precursors of P, which is pseudoephedrine and ephedrine. We've heard from Sir Peter Gluckman, the Prime Minister's chief advisor, that there are suitable alternatives to these medicines that c can be uh, bought across the counter, though the other drugs, are pseudoephedrine and um, ephedrine, can be purchased um, and can be obtained through a prescription. Mr Speaker, I took some time out today and went to the, the conference in the banquet hall of the Sensible, 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 Sensible Trust, and it was incredibly powerful. There was a wall of photographs of people who had been murdered um, young men, young women and children. Many of those people, I would say, had been murdered when their assailant was high on pee. There was Susan Couch. She was present at the conference. Her assailant, William Bell, was high on pee. She was almost beaten to death and he did, unfortunately, kill three innocent victims. There was a picture of Coral Burroughs, aged six. She was murdered by her stepfather, Steve Williams, and he was high on pee. It's a tragedy of huge proportions, Pete, in this community. So this bill is a step in the right direction, and I commend it to the House. I call the Honourable Winnie Laban.